some sports knowledge that we might not have otherwise. And today we're talking about signals. Well, the last time we did this, we asked some of the ladies to email in questions that they might have that mm -hmm. would make them better fans. So, right. of their husbands. And we got a few about what does mean that the sometimes Wash, when he's in the dugout, does signals. Yes. Uh, certainly the third base coach will do signals and that type of thing. It and just then, looks like sign language. And then the catchers also are giving signals. So, a lot of it means nothing, but every once in a while, some of it does mean something. So, you know, we have some still photos. There's, there's actually the catcher looking to the dugout. Now, he'll be looking to his manager. It, that won't happen too often, but a manager does have the ability to override the catcher to call a certain pitch or maybe a pitch out if they think a runner's going to steal a base. So he's got like the final say. Absolutely. So that's that's one example. All right. Now you see how the the a lot of times a signal will also involve well I'm going to set up way on the outside part of the plate. See how he's on the far left as we look at it right. side of the plate. That's part of the signals that he will give the pitcher. Let's throw a fastball, but let's throw it all the way on this side of the plate because this guy's a home run type. Now let me ask you this: Does do all the teams use the same signals, or do teams have their own set of signals? Well, it, they're they're not that complicated because mostly you have two or three pitches. You have a fastball changeup and some sort of curveball or something like that. Mm -hmm. And at the lowest levels, it's one fastball, two curveball three changeup but the other teams know that too and there are guys that are sitting on the bench over there looking to see what the signals are going to be right now they're not really looking most of the time for pitching signals but they're looking for stolen base ah. or they're looking for hit and run they're looking for certain things that they'd like to know ahead of time before the other team does it so they do disguise them or mix them up one inning one may be a fastball the next inning two is a fastball and they just rotate the signals through just enough to hopefully throw the other team off oh I like that. Okay. okay, so can you demonstrate? Yeah, well, let's this do works? this together. All right, okay. you're the hitter. All right. All right, we'll move this out of the way. All right, you got to move up here a little okay. bit because I now am the catcher. Okay. okay? So, all right. all right, here, we're going to go that way. I don't know. Where should I be? You're, now you're left handed. Okay, okay, put the bat on the other shoulder. All right, so here we go. So I'm the catcher. Okay. And I'm making sure you're not looking at the oh, sign. That's right, so, okay, I'm not. I'm looking, looking at the pitcher. Okay. Now, and, and the catcher will tap one side or another side. That's just be inside or outside part of the plate. Uh -huh. And then just your basic one, two, or three might mean fastball, curveball, or change. Now, they can change it by tapping a knee. Maybe I give it one, two, three. This doesn't mean anything until I tap my knee. Then when I tap my knee, it finally does mean something. Right. They're all different. Yeah. Hi. I yeah. couldn't stay away. Yes, go, go ahead. <laughs> She's afraid uh, okay, to look at a bat. But you got your batter looking back at the catcher. If she peeks, that's bad. Right. Because we don't want her to peek. So a lot of times, especially early in the count, if you're peeking to see what the signals are, then the pitch is going to be somewhere over here. Ah. Or here or here. And that will keep you from peeking from then on. So or, smart. Or maybe, or maybe <laughs> here, here or here. So then pit, hitters learn very quickly not to not peek. Not to peek. Yes. Because really they're getting the in, they're getting the scoop before. That's right. Right. That's right. It's now, supposed to be a secret. And catchers do lots of things to try and trick you too. So you're what you're looking at the pitcher. Mm -hmm. Now I'm over here and I say, well, you know what? I want to throw a pitch outside over here. But what I may do is go like this. Oh, you hear that right here next to you? Yes. And then I move out here. And she doesn't realize you moved. Right. So she heard me here, so she thought the pitch was coming inside. That is sneaky. And then I moved. Yeah, it's very sneaky. That is some sneaky yeah. stuff. But you know, it makes me appreciate the game a little bit more, I have to be honest. Because <laughs> when you start studying those little intricacies, it makes it a little bit more yeah. fascinating, That's it. right? That's yes. It. If you're going to go to the ballpark and watch the game, yeah. my wife likes to go to the ballpark. She likes to eat the food. She yes. likes the good weather. Yep. And she likes the person behind her. <laughs> Whether she knows them or not. And she talks, and then twice a game, there's a home run or a diving catch, and she turns around and she says, I missed it. Uh -huh. Well, you have to watch the You game. really have to well, focus. Well, it's boring and it's slow, but you're right. If you start to pick up these little intricacies, you know, watch the shortstop start to move yes. before the pitch is thrown because he knows what's going to happen. It's really cool. So you stuff. can really There's follow the strategy. Sorry, I was no, going to say you can no, really follow strategy. the strategy. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Stuff. That is cool. Really oh, is. I like yeah. that. Well, yeah. thank, you, Brady. thank you, And Brady's going to be back to tell us what will be a hit home run with your taste buds at the Rangers ballpark later in the show. Ooh. Yum. 24-inch food. The best part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll